through our homework, do a practice notebook page, lap side together. You'll do the practice. We'll go over the practice. And then we will have um, show you homework and you can get started on that. So go ahead and get your math book open to page 211 and 212. All right, and today we're looking over number two. You should have found your partial products at 12, 20, 60, and 100, and added them up to get to 192. Number four, you should have found 8, 40, 40, and 200 to get 288. Number six, you should have found 63, 490, 360, 2,800, add them all up to get 3,713. And number eight, you should have found eight, 320, 140, and 5,600 to get 6,068. Right, and then we have two on the back, 13 and 14. You needed to figure out which ones were missing. Number 13 was missing 80, that 8 times 10. And then down here was 10 times 10, or 100. Right? And then number 14, you were missing 7 times 1 for 7. And then um, you were missing... Oh, then they got the 70 from 70 times 1, which is 70. And then the 280 from 7 times 40, or 280. All right. Did you like that expanded form way? I like that too. I think the squares way is good, the area model. I like this way too. All right. So today going to use a new skill and this one I think is pretty easy but it only works when one of our factors is a multiple of 10. And remember a multiple of 10 means it ends on that zero like if we skip count by tens we would land on it like 10, 20, 40, 30, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 110, so on, so on. So this only works if it's a multiple of 10. There's an algorithm to doing this. So I'm going to go through it, and then we'll go through it step by step. So you're going to put a zero in the ones place of our product. You're going to multiply your 10 spot, just like we did yesterday, by your ones and then your tens. But we're going to carry over our numbers like we did when we did like 351 times 5. Like So we got 5, 15. Remember how we carried that to group of 10 over? And then we'd have 15 and we add on for 16. That's what we're going to do today too a little bit. We're going to kind of combine ways. Okay. And then we're going to multiply by the 10 spot and add if we need. Sounds a lot more complicated than it is. So let's do two together. So first thing I need to do is put a zero in my, pro in my product. Because if I multiply all of these guys by zero, what's zero times two? Zero and zero times 10 is zero. So I'm just skipping a step and I'm putting a zero as a placeholder. Next up, I multiply my 10 spot, so my two tens, so times my one spot and carry over if I need. Well, two times two is four, all right? And I don't need to carry anything over. So then I do two times one, which is two. So that's how I get 240, because I didn't need to carry over. Remember, I'm really doing it like two tens times one ten. So that's 240. This way, it's written sideways. So what I'm going to do is stack my numbers differently, okay? Because when we multiply, we can change the order. So I'm going to put my 88 on top, and I'm going to multiply by 30. All right. Now, first thing I do is that zero placeholder in my one spot, and then I multiply my 10 spot, my three tens, times my eight ones. And I get 
24. This is where that carrying over comes in because I wouldn't write 24 down here. I need to carry my tens over and my four states. Now, eight times three is 24, but then I need to add like we did before, 25, 26. So this is 2,640. All right, so you try these six, okay? These ones are all stacked nice and neat for you. And these two down here are not. One of these is a little trickier, but remember when we multiply, you can change the order. So think which factor would it be easier to have on the bottom? All right, so you go ahead and pause the video and solve these and unpause when you're ready to look over your answers. All right, to number one, zero placeholder. One, three times one is three and seven times three is 21. So 2,130. Number two, zero placeholder. Two times three is six, and three times two is also six. So 660. Then add a placeholder. Eight times four is 32, but we need to carry the three and leave the two. And then four times one is four, plus three, five, six, seven. 720. Number four, placeholder zero. Five times four is 20, so I carry my two and leave my zero. Five times two is 10 and add two more for 12, 1,200. All right, these ones were the slightly trickier ones. You needed to stack them with your 24. Do you want your 40 on the bottom? Because remember, then we can do our shortcut. We can have our zero right there. Four times four is 16. Four times two is eight plus one is nine. You should have got 960. Remember, don't add these guys. Add on after. Try Remember to multiply. All right. And then next up, we had 40 times 73. But if we write that out... That's not really easy for us to do in our head. Ugh. So we're going to write 73 first. I hope you did that times 40. Then I can do that shortcut of adding a zero. And four times three is 12. And seven times four is 28. And add one for 29, 2,920. All right, so I hope you like that strategy for multiples of 10. Then you got to using that skill today in your homework on page 217 and 218. So number three, number five, those ones already have that zero placeholder for you. Okay, so you just need to fill in the missing boxes. Number eight and number 10 don't, and they're written that sideways way, so you're gonna need to stack them somewhere, okay? And multiply and think which factor do you want on the bottom? And then on page 218, we have 12 is a review problem, and 14, okay, is a word problem, hint, hint. All right, let me know if you have questions. Otherwise, have fun multiplying by multiples of 10. See you soon.